What is up legends, Martin Legend, Theodore the Magic Mascot, the best friend any man can ever ask for, a stuffed dinosaur and my lovely spectator back with another card trick, this one is awesome, it's a no setup card trick because as you'll see by the poll I'll show you just now I had a poll on YouTube, I'm going to do a lot more of these nowadays and as you can see clearly no setup one, it wasn't a massive margin but no setup one, next time I'll add some different ones and maybe ask for some suggestions, I'll see what I do. But yes, apart from that, let's get into the performance. Okay, so for today's card trick, I'll go up to a spectator and I'll offer the spectator if they want to shuffle the cards. The spectator does want to shuffle the cards. Even though she can shuffle like a magician, she's mm -hmm. just choosing over and shuffle. Okay, you happy with the amount of shuffle? Yep. Okay, so I'm just going to make a, make a couple of predictions. Well, not really predictions. More like um, I need... 16 cards and um, I'm just going to get out 16 cards so it's not really actually a prediction I'm just getting 16 cards um, and that yeah, I'll use these four and then I need four more okay and I'll take these four okay so, I don't need the rest of the cards, so just to show you, I took 16 cards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so now I'm going to back them in a grid. Just like this. Theodore can watch from here, maybe lie down and watch it, just to know that I'm not doing anything funny. Just going to back them out in a grid. Almost there, Theodore, you're kind of in the way. Okay, and I'm going to start by flipping over these two and these two. Now, you are going to have full control. There's just a couple of rules. I just want to make sure everything is in on the shot. Yep, everything is in. There's just going to be a couple of rules. Rule number one, you can pick any card you want. Then, if you want to move it sideways, or up or down, you have to turn it over. If you want to move it diagonal, you can even do this one. If diagonal, you don't flip it over, you just take it over. And if there's empty spots, say you move this one over here, and then you want to move this one, you have to still use the empty spot as a spot. Okay, so where do you want to start? Mm. Where do you want to move it? Diagonal, left, right, up, down? Diagonal. Okay, now you can carry on with this one or you can move to any other one you want. This one, where do you want to move it? Up. Okay, so I'm flipping it over. Next. This one. Okay, so I'm flipping it. That's still the rules. Okay, next. This one. You can you can do the same once again. You, yeah. Okay, this one diagonal, so I'm not flipping it. Next. Okay, so I'm flipping it over. Next. Okay, remember I said the empty spots must be still used, yeah. so I'm going to flip it twice, okay? Yes, where? Can't go there, right? No, well, it can technically, it can go there and then it can go there. Okay. Yeah. So there and there, okay, next. Okay, and let's just close yeah. it. Okay, well that, that one really didn't matter. Okay, so you had full control over that, right? Yep. Now you did something amazing. You found one, two, three, four aces and the rest of the cards is all face up. And I'm just going to show that you know, but you saw most of them. I'm just going to show that you know they weren't all just aces. Good trip. Anyway guys, if you want to learn how to do this card trick, Theodore is quite impressed. Well, stick around for the tutorial. Okay guys, this card trick is in fact no setup. When you are busy doing the trick, you do uh, a little bit of a setup, but you don't need a setup deck. You just need a full deck, or actually you even don't need a full deck. You just need a deck that has four of a card. 
and then you need at least 16 cards. So I'll explain that now. So you need 16 cards and it must at least be four of a specific card. Like I chose the four aces. Like I said, no setup. You can hand the deck to the spectator. Spectator can fairly shuffle the deck as much as they want. Now here's the little part that I said it's not really a setup, but you are setting it up while you're doing the trick. Okay, so you're going to look for your four aces and you're going to say we're not actually predictions. You're going to say I'm going to look for 16 cards because we're going to use 16 cards. So you're going to look for an ace that's in the fourth position. One, two, three, four. So it's in the fourth position. You place that down. Then you're going to look for an ace in the. So you can just mess this around as you're going. You're going to look for an ace in the third position. As you can see, one, two, three, four in the third position. Then you're going to look for an ace in the second position one two and then lastly you're going to look for ace in the first position so one two three four and there we go it's complete now from here on the trick is completely self-working you can tell the spectator again we're working with 16 cards one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen now you're going to pack the the cards out you don't need the rest of the deck and this one will be an ace so you're going to start with the one corner that one will be an ace then you pack four then you'll pack another row this one's going to be an ace you'll pack another row this one's going to be an ace because of the way you selected the cards and then lastly this one's going to be the very last one is going to be ace. So you have aces running diagonally like this. Now you look for the two opposite corners and you flip over the cards surrounding them. So you have aces running diagonally, you have the two opposite corners and you flip the cards over opposite to them. Now you explain to the spectator that they have free choice. You just explain the rules to them. Empty spaces must still be treated as a spot. If they want to move it sideways or backwards and forwards, you have to flip it. And if you have, if you want to move it diagonally, you have, you don't flip it. And if you want to move it two spots, you have to flip it twice, obviously. And blank spaces must still be used as a spot. So let's say they want to start in the corner. They move it, um, left. And they can carry on with the same one again. Let's say they want to. Let's say they want to go crazy with this whole row, just like that, easy. Then let's say they want to flip it like this. Let's say they want to go diagonal like this. They maybe want to put this one over here, and then maybe like this, and then maybe diagonal like this, like this. Flip this one. Flip this one. Flip this one over. Flip this one over. It really doesn't matter as long as they just follow the rules. And then you just look at one of these two cards will be face up and you just look. Okay, so if I flip this one over, my aces are going to be face up. And if I flip this one over, my aces are going to be face down. And then you just do the absolute magic reveal for this one. It's going to be now the aces are going to be, you'll show that all the cards are face up except for four cards. And those four cards are the four aces. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this one and thank you for all those that participated in the poll. Really does mean the world to me. And until next time, Martin Legend and Theodore, the king of magic mascots. Until next time, peace.